Hey guys, it's Dr. Crad. I just finished removing this cataract, and after a quick polish, I'm about to insert the light adjustable lens. The first LAL injector has a reputation of being difficult to load. RX Sight came out with a new disposable injector system for the LAL. This is my first experience with it, and so I figured I'd share it with you. This injector is version 2. I don't have an RX Sight staff member walking me through this. I want to see how intuitive it is, and so I'm figuring it out on my own. The injector and cartridge are now one single piece, and they include this white plastic hook to retrieve the leading haptic in the nozzle just in case it's folding on itself. After coating the cartridge with viscoelastic, you lay down the light adjustable lens on the platform similar to the image of the IOL on the wing of the cartridge. Prior to folding the wings of the cartridge, you got to make sure that the optic is sitting underneath the ridges adjacent to the wings of the cartridge. The easiest way to do that is to push the IOL away from you under the far ridge. And then as you fold the wings, you make sure that the proximal optic edge is underneath the proximal ridge. That will make sure that the IOL does not float up as you fold the wings. And this trailing haptic, you have to make sure it's out of the way of the plunger. So in this case, it's above or anterior to the plunger. Now let's inspect the lens as it's advanced through the cartridge and nozzle. The loading definitely seemed easier than the previous injector. As you can see here, the lens looks good as it is being advanced. And here, you would use this white plastic hook to pull the leading haptic forward in case it was folded on itself. But my issue with the version 1 wasn't that it was difficult to load. In fact, I never actually thought it was difficult. Nuanced, sure, but not difficult. My main concern with the previous injector was that the lens didn't come out in a planar fashion. So let's see how the lens comes out with this new injector. Will it come out flat and planar or will it go vertical? And to me, it went more vertical, just like the previous injector. So my first impression with this new injector system is that it may be easier for a new technician to load it, but delivering the lens into the eye is very similar, if not the same, as the previous injector. And I wish the lens would come out in a more planar fashion. I wish it was more precise as you released it into the eye. It needs to be so precise that you can comfortably put it in the sulcus if you wanted to. Not that you would plan on doing that, but you need to be able to put it in the eye in a very precise and controlled manner. You can teach someone how to load a lens, no matter how nuanced it is. But that lens needs to be deliverable into the eye in a precise and controlled way. So that wasn't the main problem that I had with the injector. Even if I needed to make the incision bigger, right now it's 2.75 millimeters, even if it had to be 3 millimeters, I would rather the lens come out more planar and flat and not dive so deep into the eye. I would have loved that upgrade. But I'm sure they are working on it. The team at RX Sight are brilliant. And hopefully on the next version, the lens will come out in a planar way. And keep in mind, this is just my first use with the new injector. I will let you know if I have any tips to let the lens come out in a more planar fashion. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your attention. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.